when she was born, she didn't cry like the typical baby. She let out a tiny little squeak and then all of a sudden her airway just kind of collapsed. We knew before Madison was born that she was going to have some health issues. They could see on my 20 week ultrasound that she was going to have a small jaw and they could see some scoliosis, her, her spine was curved. We knew those things, but we didn't know exactly what Madison was going to have. We didn't equate having a small jaw to not being able to breathe. So Madison has had 19 surgeries now at the University of Iowa Hospitals. She got her trach when she was about a month and a half old to help her breathe better, just because her airway is so small and she got a feeding tube at that point as well. Madison was the first kid in the University of Iowa Children's Hospital to get vector rods is what they're called. So vertical expandable prosthetic titanium rods in her back. Her vector rods help with her scoliosis and also she's got some rib abnormalities where her ribs are close together so they were able to spread out her ribs as well as kind of straighten her back up so that her lung would be able to expand and grow with her. She has to have surgery every six to ten months because as she she grows, her rods have to grow with her. Good because I get so many changes and black sometimes is when I get taller. To see her now today at nine running around and doing all of the things, you know, that her friends do, I mean, we have to modify some things based on, you know, Madison's health, but we try to let her just be a kid and do everything that, you know, that her friends do to an extent and, and just let her let her experience being a kid. So Madison is a spunky and extremely smart, beautiful, she's very sassy. She's a very, very sassy girl. But you know, I think that serves her well in her life. My hopes and dreams for Madison would be that she's able to live out her life to the fullest and be able to just be her true and authentic self, teaching people about how wonderful she is and doing whatever makes her happy. The care that you get here, I always say a second to none. We feel like the doctors here really work as a team and all of her specialists kind of work together to figure out the best plan for Madison and kind of what her next steps are. Um, and I think that's one of the real benefits of being here at this hospital is that all of the specialists can work together. We don't know where Madison would be today without them, without their care, without their expertise, and without them working together as a team. I can't even explain our gratitude towards uh, towards our team. I would like to say to them thanks for helping with all the surgeries. I think what we have learned the most from Madison over the years is just how brave she truly is and how to overcome a problem or a situation. We tell her quite often that she's changing the world one person at a time.